wild swans the wild swans children application book a worksheet 1.1 page number 2 myself and family we will start with section a mark these statements as true or false so if the statement is true we will write t capital t and if the statement is false that is incorrect wrong we will write capital f so let's start with first statement josh lived in a small village so josh was living in a small village this statement is true he was not living in a city he was living in a small village so the answer is true we will write capital t you can see there is capital t written over next to the statement number 2 josh lived with his grandchildren false the statement is incorrect because josh used to live alone his grandchildren visited him only during vacations so we since the statement is false we will write capital f third statement is josh lost his walking stick while cleaning the house now this statement is incorrect false so we will write capital f because josh lost his watch while trimming the garden so this is false write a capital f statement number 4 the children looked for the missing watch all day in the garden now this statement is also incorrect that is false so we will write capital f in the box provided children looked for the missing watch for 2 hours so write capital f fifth statement is josh's grandson sat in the garden for 20 minutes so children did he sit for 20 minutes no he sat there for 15 minutes so this statement again is false so again we will write capital f in the small box provided next to the statement number 6 josh's grandson found the watch this statement is true so we will write capital t in the box provided the little boy who was josh's grandson he found the watch in the garden so this statement is true write capital t in the box seventh statement is josh hugged and thanked his grandson for finding the watch this statement is true the little boy who was josh's grandson when he found the watch josh was so happy that he hugged and thanked him so this statement is absolutely true you will write capital t in the box next to the statement section b is answer these questions question 1 what did josh do before the arrival of his grandchildren answer to this question is josh prepared his home for his grandchildren before their arrival he cleaned the floor trimmed the garden rearranged the household items and bought their favorite food Question 2 Why was the watch the most precious thing Josh ever had The watch was the most precious thing Josh ever had because it was a gift from his wife on the birth of their first child 
Question number three. What did the children do to find the watch? Answer is the children searched for the watch in the garden for more than two hours. Question four. Who finally found the watch and how? Answer to this question is Josh's little grandson finally found the watch. He went and sat silently in the garden. He then followed the tick tock sound and found the watch. Section C Think and Answer Question 1 According to you, was Josh a loving grandfather? Give reasons for your answer. Answer to this question is Yes, Josh was a loving grandfather. He was eagerly waiting for the arrival of his grandchildren and prepared the house for them. Question 2 Do you think the grandchildren were helpful and cared for their grandfather? Why or why not? Answer to this question is Yes, the grandchildren were helpful and cared for their grandfather. They tried to find the watch and spent more than two hours trying to find it. Question 3. What lesson have you learned from the story? Answer to this question is A lesson I have learned from the story is to always care for the people I love. Question 4. Have you ever helped your grandparents? Write about one such incident. Answer is yes. I help my grandmother by carrying her things when she visits any relative's place. Thank you.